I know, for example, if you are in healthcare, um, sharing your faith is a little bit controversial because. Mm. And so what you're saying is that there is an ethical side that many, many times people don't think you're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. And a month down the line, um, you're being called into a meeting with your supervisors mm. and they're like, but there has been times where I felt like if I didn't share the gospel with this individual, they're going to. I don't know if it's Christians scared, but in my conversation, sometimes it seems like Christians are too frustrated with sin to acknowledge that they are ignorant to the truth. Mm. I, it's difficult to, it, I think sometimes the scenario is also really important as well. Mm-hmm. I know, for example, if you are in healthcare, um, sharing your faith is a little bit controversial because mm. you don't want to overstep the boundaries of, I, I guess, medical ethics. Mm. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, there's definitely like scenarios. So, for example, um, you want to boldly share your faith in Jesus with somebody who's on their deathbed. Um, how do you do that without medical legally getting into trouble? Mm. Um, doesn't mean you're not bold about Jesus, but I think there are kind of ways to counteract that. So, for example, the way that you move and operate, the way you conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, opens the conversation for people to be like, you're such a nice person, you know, why are you nice? Um, Or why are you the way that you are? And, you know, they've taken the initiative to speak to you, and then that gives you the platform to then say, I'm a believer in Christ, I'm a Christian. Is that that legally how it works? Like, like if they ask... Because cause those of you guys that don't know I Am Rescued, you come from medicine. Yeah. You were a doctor or are a doctor. Technically still are a doctor. Yeah, I am. I, I, um, I mean, I, and, and so what you're saying is that there is an ethical side that many many times people don't consider of not just like, I'm just going to be bold and yell Jesus at people, right? <laughs> like you can't do that in certain professions. Yeah, yeah, Though yeah. a lot of folks who aren't artists want their artists to behave like banners for Jesus all the time, even though we all know in our real day to day lives, yeah. that ain't how it works. You can't yeah, just, no. you know what I mean? Like you have to follow the policies and be. Yeah. So you're saying in the medical field, if you're first initiated in conversation, then you can then turn around and share your yeah. faith. Because I mean, the the caveat is you you you're being bold and you you tell somebody about Jesus, and they don't necessarily want to hear about that. They mm-hmm. can definitely report you, and that can get you into trouble. You know, at your workplace and mm-hmm. get you canceled. Yeah, it, it, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> canceled. Yes, <laughs> and unemployed. Yes. Unemployed, <laughs> even <indeed>. worse. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a really good point. I think oftentimes the expectation for creatives, rappers, artists, YouTubers is they all have to be overt with their faith, mm. and um, I think that's my burden. Like that's my conviction, right? Clearly, uh, clearly. However. Um, I think I've met a ton of YouTubers, massive YouTubers with millions and millions of subscribers, hopefully ones uh, I'll be interviewing soon, um, <laughs> that, that like aren't as overt. Yeah. And But when they're asked in the same way you're saying, then they love to open up and talk about their faith. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just trying to navigate the, I guess, the legal side of everything because you don't want to get subpoenaed or... Y- you think you're doing the right thing mm-hmm. and a month down the line um, you're being called into a meeting with your supervisors mm-hmm. and they're like this and this happened um, why are you sharing Jesus you know and yeah has that ever happened to you it hasn't um, okay. he's smooth he's <laughs> but, smooth, he's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's because I take I take great care um, but I, I will say that I have had the opportunity especially people who literally on death's door mm. um, like sometimes, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say, say this, but I can because I don't work at the hospital anymore. But there has been times where I felt like if I didn't share the gospel with mm-hmm. this individual, they're going to die and they're going to go to hell. Mm. Wow. That's so a heavy responsibility. You have to. Otherwise, I mean, kind of accountable. Yeah. Not kind of. You are accountable because yeah. you you kind of have to, you have to navigate. Yeah. You have to be We're talking about eternity literally hangs in the yeah. balance. So sometimes you just have to be like, look, I know this person's going to die yeah. pretty soon in yeah. the next couple of hours. I need to tell them about Jesus. And I, I have a friend who does that <laughs> quite often. Yeah, he, 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 he shares the gospel with people as well. I think it just also depends on you know, where you work. Like in the U.S., I know that that. It's probably taboo, mm-hmm. frowned upon. You can't just go around telling people about Jesus. As they're dying. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 As they're well, dying because, you know, their family members will be like, who gave them the right to, to do that? I mean, to give them we don't believe, especially to to when people are, you know, um, Islamic or mm. you yeah. just don't want to get into trouble. But I mean, he does it in any case. Um, yeah. He's just of the opinion that um, Jesus is coming. Is soon. he a doctor? Or is he? he is. Is, he's he is. a doctor. And, and he, he's, he's a very good friend of mine. And he actually is somebody who's pushed me to. Um, well, when I was still in medicine to yeah. share as much as I could, yeah. um, with people because time is really of the essence. Yeah. Wow. Um, what, a, what, a, what, would, how, how much of an interesting ministry would that be if someone actually went into hospitals and was there just to love on people Yeah. and then share their faith when, when they were asked? Yeah. Right. Like that, that would be. Yeah. It's like, not like a, it's not a formal ministry. Mm-hmm. As far as like handing out tracts or sharing the mm-hmm, gospel, mm-hmm. but like it's a you're just going in hoping and yeah. loving on people and like showing the gospel, so hoping that you can share the gospel. Yeah, because because you, you got to share the gospel, yeah. right? Because that whole like share the gospel and then when necessary use words. Like no, 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 no. The gospel <laughs> requires words. Like it requires to say when they got a limited amount. You got to tell them about got, Jesus. They need the words. Yes. <laughs> you got to tell them about Jesus. Somebody referenced uh, 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 wisest serpents, innocent as doves, which is what you're saying. Doves, mm. not doves, not doves. like doves. Uh, <laughs> doves. Straight uh, winds, bro. And then two. Your excellence. Someone said uh, the, 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 your your work ethic and excellence is your ticket in. That's good. I it would is. agree. I would agree. I think if you do a great job as a doctor, oftentimes people will ask, like, is something different about you? Yeah. You yeah. know? And so and I think that's a that's a great way of approaching it. I, I wonder how much of us are consumed with like a very like microwave Christianity. Like, oh man, I gotta I gotta I gotta close him. I gotta get him on the to say the prayer, I gotta get to say the prayer, yeah. yeah, right, and then and then you you look at things in very short intervals, not knowing that like God may have just put you there to initially plant the seed and so, not not in the deathbed scenario. Yeah, but, unless they got yeah, two hours left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta close the them when they're. Yeah, <laughs> we got a feature uh, film like right. <laughs> <laughs> But in the sense of like, hey, God could use you to plant the seed. Someone else could could kind of see the, the seed come to fruition. Um, that's that's awesome, man. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only five dollars a month. Will you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast? Discord access that's private and a discount code for our merch store only five dollars a month and ultimately it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media podcasting and of course YouTube the link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment now if you're like meh I don't want to sign up for five dollars a month I don't need another recurring subscription listen I get it you could also make a donation uh, using PayPal Cash App or Venmo, but but we really want to get you on Patreon. I promise you, the perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only five dollars a month. I'll see you over there. All right, peace. And it said that Simeon blessed God.